What about the people that already have a, a home? I would say like they're thinking about buying their second home maybe, or maybe they're thinking of, um, have a lot of clients that are planning to upgrade, sell, um, to buy another home. Like what should they be thinking of in terms of, I mean, cause if you're like me, I mean, we're, we believe in helping adding value people, helping people build wealth and sharing ideas. What should they be thinking right now for all the homeowners out there that already have a home? I think it goes back to your personal needs again. Do If you really need space and you need a bigger home, um, you have the down payment saved. If you're not necessarily trying to sell your current home and buying the next one, you're in the same boat as, as, as a first time home buyer. However, for example, you need to sell your property and you need to buy a new one. You, you want to use that equity and, and you're trying to get a new property. Um, even if we, even if we pretended for a minute that, okay, la next year, the market will go down just, just to, you know, imagine the scenario Well, your current property price will also go down then, you know, are you, you're better off making that decision right now to sell and move on to your next purchase rather than waiting and seeing because, um, it going interest rates are going to go up i mean that, that they have gone on national television and said that so that that's just you know that that's just there um is it going to affect the market like just like how it has affected now i don't think so because the demand is still there as you said your buyers are telling you we're waiting until next year and then they got to make a decision right Yep. Um, if you don't have room, enough room, you just simply don't have enough room. What are you going to do? So um, if you already own a home, but you need to upgrade, you need to move into a bigger home, you, you have to think about if the market is going to decline next year, your current property price will also decline, you know? And if you think that things are going to get back to normal, you know, then then you're on the same boat as like, okay, we're gonna wait and see what happens in March 2023. The, the, that's how I see it. It really just comes down to analyzing your personal finances and making a decision based off of your personal situation rather than listening to some fed guy on the TV because he's got the entire country to worry about. He's not worried about your situation. Yep. Um, and also, I think that we live in a world where too much information is floating around. It's, it's probably not even relevant to you. Like, it probably doesn't even affect your life. However, it's just there and it's in your face and there's no way to avoid it, uh, especially if you are on social media. So that's the time where you kind of have to step back and think that does this really matter to me or does this really apply to me is that guy on tv is he talking to me or is he talking to you know uh people that make um decisions for for everyone else that, that there's a lot of confusion because everybody has become an economist in, in my opinion everybody's giving their opinions so you just really need to stick to your neighborhood maybe your city yep. and maybe your county, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't go any anywhere. But uh, there are all kinds of markets in California. As I gave you an example, <clears throat> 20 offers on, on a property in, in one of the Los Angeles neighborhoods. People still want to buy. They've been waiting to buy yeah. in that neighborhood for over probably over 10 years and, and they're going to buy. Yeah, we just got a, uh, I just viewed a property yesterday. It had over 15 offers. Uh, out of that 15, seven cash offer over asking price, very aggressive home um, that, is, that is investor friendly. And uh, one of them was a $40,000 over listed price, uh, wow. which was that one that right there. Uh, but they're probably gonna take the cash offer uh, most likely. But yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's a very aggressive, I mean, people are still waiting in line and buying, you know? Um, in fact, I, I see properties currently right now that we've closed a couple of months ago that appraiser are appraising over asking um they are appraising the property over what the house is bought for um and, oh, yes. and they get that instant yeah. equity yeah and, and that's that's uh that's another advice i can give to current home buyers um if you are 
if you don't want to do anything with your mortgage, uh, you don't want to sell, you don't want to buy another property, please do take do, do take advantage of the home equity line of credits that the lenders are offering. So because pretty, that's just let's, you know. Let's go over some of the uh, so let's uh, pretty. What are all the pro products that you offer uh, that can help people out in terms of like getting additional finances? Uh, you mean to um, help them? So like, for example, like um, home equity and line of credits, first time home buyer, like, you know, conventional FHA, VA. Um, so what kind so of home equity, home equity line of credit is just good to have when you own a property. Mm -hmm. You know, you never know what's going to go wrong with the property or if you need to um, uh, make some improvements. That's just really, really cheap way of financing your own home improvement because mm -hmm. Uh, I have seen people that will go out and, and, and get financing done for their floors through Lowe's or Home Depot and pay some ridiculous uh, interest rate on, on those things. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of become your own financer when you have a home equity line of credit. And the advantage is that you're only going to make payment on whatever you use. Everything else is just still sitting there um, as, as this... Uh, this resource that you have access to whenever you need to, um, whenever you need it. 